Well, welcome back. And this is our sixth and final part. Um, I hope you've enjoyed these these uh, these videos, looking at uh, my Prism Leisure releases there's, there's on DVD. There's absolutely loads more available, and there's obviously loads more when I find them still coming into the collection. Uh, and I'll keep these videos updated as 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 and when I get uh, get new releases in for these, whenever I can find them. Um, if you're into this kind of stuff and you, and you remember Prism Leisure, uh, comment down below. Um, I'd love to chat with people about this stuff, especially about titles I don't know about that's been released on Prism, uh, or titles that, that you've got that you want to show off or talk about. Uh, I'd love to chat about it down below. Uh, but for this final final part now, part six, uh, the first one we're going to have a look at is Space Camp. Um, I think this is a truly underrated film from 1986. Um, it is a, a, as good a kid film that you that you will ever come across. Um, the the quality of the acting, the the quality of the effects in the film, um, just everything about it is 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 enjoyable as as any other 80s kid film out there. Uh, and I think. It's been forgot. Um, obviously, there will be eighty Zs out there, especially people who watch this channel that that remember this fondly. But there'll be other people out there that just don't remember it at all. And it's a shame, really, because it is a, a really, really good film. It's a film that I I, I really like. Um, decent presentation that uh, that Prism Leisure did for this as well. Slightly different way of, of packaging on this one uh, compared to everything else they've ever released. Um, it it just isn't the same, and I, I'm I'm not a hundred percent sure why. Um, you still got the, the the Prism Leisure logo here, but the the back design of it's completely different. Uh, and you'll take notes when we look for the internals. That that's completely different to to what Prism normally do as well. Why that was done, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, but this is is a is is a really good film, and it, um, if you if you've never seen this before, then. And then track it down, source it. It's it, it is a good film, but there you go. That that's unlike Prism Leisure to to do something on a disc, but then nothing there. They either do nothing, no reverse art, and 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 a, and a, a cheaper version disc. It's rare that they did it like this, and I'm not hundred percent sure why. Um, a little bit more expensive to 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 get this in the UK now because I think there is a Blu-ray release of this in the US. But there is definitely not one in the UK. Um, and if you want to check this film out, it may be available on streaming somewhere. I'm not 100% sure. But if you want to watch it in the UK, this is the only way you're going to do it. Uh, so it's, it's all, it is all in its price at the moment. Um, well, that's Space Camp. Check it out if you've not seen it. Now, if you know me, you'll know that I'm into the punk scene. Uh, and when I found out that Prism had released this, which I never realised they had initially, uh, I was over the moon to, to, to put a copy of this into the collection. And it is The Clash, uh, Rude Boy the Movie. Um, this is a, 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 a wonderful release. Um, this thing is absolutely loaded uh, with Clash footage, whether it be live footage or music videos or... or interviews or there's, there's i mean there's absolutely laws this this thing is lifted um it is pretty easy to come across now um i just never realized at the time it was it had been done by prison leisure uh this is all region it's region region free um but like i said there's there's it's lifted with interviews bonus live tracks the actual trailers Discographies, image galleries. Um, there's seven. There's seven live songs on there. It, it is really, really good. And then if if you open it and break it down to this side, I mean, it is just lifting with stuff. So for any any Clash fan, um, obviously this is this is the one to pick up. Nice bit of artwork on the disc that lines up with the uh, the zipper there. Um, but no, check it out. Any of you any of you Clash fans out there, it's a, it, it's a must have. Again, carrying on from what I looked at last time with the Clash, and staying with a punk kind of vibe. Uh, this is the Romo, the, the Ramones, uh, Rock and Roll High School, uh, full and cut version. Um, I knew about this film, but didn't see it till till pretty recently. 
And it is a little bit all over everywhere. Um, it, it's a bit of a bonkers film, but I really enjoyed it. It's uh, it's a decent release. Um, it, it's uh, it's an it's an enjoyable time, especially if you're a Ramones fan. You know what I mean? It's absolutely lifting with Ramones tracks. Um, again, it 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 doesn't state on the back that there is any extra or or bonus footage in it or. Um, any features or featurettes, but there actually is. Um, you can go back um, through the menus and you can just watch um, some live performances uh, from the Ramones, from the film of this, which is which is a nice touch. Um, again, inside you've got your you've got your chapter selection and your disc there. But again, for any Ramones fan, it's uh, it's a nice little pickup. And again, the the artwork on the front's really good on it as well. Dead cheap to buy this one now, if you can find it. It's only a couple of quid to pick up. That's Rock and Roll High School. If you grew up in the 90s like I did, and you was a certain age in the 90s, um, you would have known all about the 90s dance culture and rave scene. Um, and this film sort of ticks the boxes of what was happening in, in the 90s in that scene in general. Uh, it is human traffic. And... Uh, a great film, early performance from Danny Dyer. Um, nice to see that the prison put this out, um, uh, uh, going coinciding with with um, the uh, the music that went along with this as well. So the music in this is mixed by Pete Tong, and there's a, there's a small essential selection soundtrack in this as well as, uh, which is nice. So there's there's no there's no features in this, but you do get an essential selection soundtrack in it. Uh, which is which is a nice nice, nice thing in itself. Um, great film. Um, if if you're one for nineties dance music, um, check this out. There's there's loads of little funny segments in it, and then it is it is a, a, a genuinely a, a nice film. Um, again, absolute peanuts. This film now you can pick this up for absolutely nothing. You'll find it. It's one of the ones that you you regularly come across when you're looking for Prism Ledger stuff. Um, they, they must have printed these in the thousands. Um, but if you if you want to check out nineties rave culture, then you can't do wrong with with checking out human traffic. I, as a rule, don't genuinely go for these sort of like skit comedy kind of things. Uh, but the Kentucky Fried movie, it's uh, one of those that I always seem to enjoy. Um, I think it played that often on on TV when I was younger. It just got etched into your brain, um, and it was a, a, a nice release that that uh, that Prism decided to put out with it. Um, again, it's uh, it's in widescreen and in four point three. Um, there is uh, trailers on this. There's a filmography. There's a photo gallery. Uh, there's the um, on-set home video. With uh, Jerry Zucker, it's a thirty-minute documentary, which is which is pretty good that that's on there. Uh, and again, this this can be picked up for about under a five or now, if you look on the secondary markets in the UK. Um, it's nice again that the disc lines up with the artwork at the back, and they've they've set it up like that on the uh, on the chapter listings. So that's Kentucky Fried Movie. Now, what I will do is I will show you four films out of this. And I'm not going to go into detail with them. I'm just going to show you because these are the trash of the trash. Um, <laughs> now, these, obviously, these were, were I, I picked these up. These came in when I've been picking Prism Leisure titles up and I've been buying through eBay. These have been coming in lots. So this is basically what's been been in the lots as well as, and I've, I've just had to had to take them as well. And these are really like the shittest of the shit. So we ain't gonna go through these. We're just gonna power through them dead quick, and I'm not gonna explain anything. First one, the Lost World Gladiator. Fucking terrible. Second. Death by Temptation, Samuel Jackson, in it for about 30 seconds. Fucking terrible vampire film. 
I've seen people do do reviews on this and actually like the damn thing. Yeah, it's fucking awful. No, we're down to the worst. Dead and Rotten, a Debbie Rashawn film from I don't even know what year. This is out. But that was like, you know what I mean? It, if I could have filmed it off my phone, it would have looked better. I'm not the biggest Debbie Rashawn fan, and but, but this one was obviously in a lot as well. So this one came with it. And Bram Stoker's Legend of the Mummy 2. Absolute piece of garbage. <laughs> um, so that's that. that. That's everything that's that's currently in my in my Prism Leisure catalog. Um, I hope these videos have been insightful to you. Um, if you want to chat about anything, anything at all, due to Prism Leisure titles or any of these kind of any of these films in general, leave some comments down below. I always like chatting about this kind of stuff. Uh, it makes my day when somebody's actually watched these videos and and, and want to leave some comments down below. Uh, it means that somebody actually cares about something and that I'm doing like this. But take care, y'all. See y'all later. Bye bye.